If you want to run a light trap, we need electricity. We get it from the sun via a solar panel that I brought with me, a charger to charge a battery, a normal car battery from a shop in Kinshasa, 80 ampere hours, and we hope is that we can run a light trap here all night long. A special light trap, as you can see, that doesn't need so much uh, energy. Yeah, but before, we have to install the light trap itself, and that's done with local material, bamboo mostly, and ropes, and a professional light trap screen from Germany. The agronomes of the Caterpillar project are very professionally in doing that. First we fix the screen, as you probably know the screen imitates the moon and when the light trap is running this uh, screen is glowing in the night like the moon and the insects believe they are flying to the moon when they fly to the light trap and sit down uh, on the screen or near the screen and stay there during the whole night. And in front of the screen we install um, something to mount a lamp, special cold cathode lamps that don't uh, use so much of energy but uh, emit a light spectrum that is very good to attract insects in the ultraviolet range. For this light trap I constructed something with 12 cold cathode lamps, ultraviolet, green, blue and white and we hope that this uh, will work all night as we see here already in the first two minutes running. There are some insects coming that want to eat here, like a brain mantis that would like to eat the insects that are attracted to these lamps and just wait there. We don't have to wait long. As soon as the night comes in and it's a, a night without a natural moon, a lot of insects come and feast on other insects like this prey mantis here on the screen a lot of fingered mosses also termites are attracted by the light it's incredible the diversity of insects that arrive here in the night while during the day in the dry season you hardly see any insects here in Congo Central Also in the sky, as soon as the lamp is running and attracts insects, we see some bats flying by, like fishes in the sky that try to eat from the attracted insects. Also on the ground, some frogs are coming. Catidids. And in the morning, the first very big mosses of the edible insects that we would like to attract here to see whether we can uh, catch them and bring them into a breeding process in the laboratory to find out whether we can keep them in a laboratory rearing and breeding and can have a, a reproductive system like a semi cultivation of these edible caterpillars that we could uh, reintroduce here on replanted fodder plants of these insects in a reforestation project. This is Lobo Bune of Edusa, 20 centimeter wingspan, this is one of the biggest mosses of Africa. 
It's the adult of the famous Kaba caterpillar here in Congo Central, and we are very happy to find one coming to the light trap. Even though it's a dry season and much more insects will be expected in the wet season that starts around uh, no. October, November. And of course we try to catch this big male that is very nervous and Augustine Condor, the director of this uh, caterpillar project, tries to uh, catch this big moss. And finally, the insect sits down and Augustine can cut, catch it and we put it to a little aerarium cage where we keep it during the night and hope of course that we find a female for this uh, male to mate because uh, they only live three or maximum four or five days they don't even have mouse pods to eat and drink and they are all only here to uh, mate and reproduce and mostly short after mating they will die with this big bull's eyes on the hind wings that's very typical for these big mosses here in Africa. Most of the caterpillars of these insects are eaten and well known since generation, but we have to say they are also lost because of habitat destruction, mainly because of charcoal production for the big 20 million agglomeration of Kinshasa. It's Bunea Altinoe with some eggs and that's a little uh, laboratory just the beginning of it, where we see whether we can find a mating pair in one of these aerariums for later egg laying and reproduction of Buneo altsinoe, also a very famous uh, edible caterpillar here. So this light trap will be run in other nights too to see whether we can attract some adult insects from surviving populations of these edible caterpillars here in Congo Central.